Hey guys, welcome back again to our HCIA routine and switching series. This tutorial today is about the HCP configuration. So let's look details about the HCP. So the HCP dynamic host configuration. This is an application layer protocol that is designed to automate the process of providing IP address to the clients. Let me repeat again. It's an application layer protocol that is designed to automate the process of providing IP addresses to the clients. So we are having different uh, address allocation mechanism, having static, sometimes called manual. This is whereby a network administrator assign IP addresses to the client. We have automatic. This is whereby a DACP assign a permanent IP address to a client, a permanent IP address to a client. Therefore, we also have a, a dynamic. This is whereby a DACP assign IP address to a client for a limited period of time. For a limited period of time, that time normally called a lease. So we have different IP pool that can be defined. The address pool is nothing but uh, used to, to define the address that should be allocated to any system. The address pool are used in order to identify or define uh, the addresses that should be allocated to end systems. So we are having two, which is an interface pool or global pool. So let us see how the ACP address equation goes. Uh, it all begins whereby a, a client will send a discover message, which is a, a broadcast. So a server will respond with a, an offer, which is a, a unicast. The client will also send a, a request message, which is broadcast. And finally, a, a server will respond with an acknowledgement, which is a unicast. So now let's come to our ENSP and uh, demonstrate uh, this. So in our topology or in our level here, as it mentioned that we are having a, a, global, a global IP or a global address pool, which is IP pool. And also we have an uh, interface DACP configuration, which is an interface pool. So in here, in this portion, we are going to configure our IP pool. In this in, uh, side, we are going to configure our interface pool. So let's begin by configuring of a, a, a global address pool. So let's begin. So we have this view. This name, the name of my router will be R1. Fine. At the beginning, we have to enable DHCP. So to enable to, to do that, we have to say DHCP enable. It's okay. Now our DHCP has been enabled. So we can we have to specify our pool. IP pool. Then we can make question mark and see. Then we have a string, a pool name. So the name of my pool be local area network users that will be the name of local oh, okay sorry sorry local area network users i have to put something like okay okay local area network users that will be the name of my pool therefore i have to specify our network let me check our network here okay our network is network 192.168 dot one dot zero followed by the word mask you can also make a question mark to see so now you have two options you can just write 255.255.255.0 or you can just write the length of the network mask which is in the four it will be fine therefore we have to specify our gateway which is the address of our router uh, gateway list gateway list 192.168.1.1 that will be fine therefore we have to also specify the dns server dns list 8.8.8.8 it will be fine so let me clarify something before i can just go further so in here our router will act as a DHCP server. So during the uh, address allocation, we don't want uh, our routers to uh, allocate uh, 
DNS server and web server IP address. So this have to be uh, uh, assigned manually or statically. So we don't want them to change. So we have to tell our do router that during the allocation, you must exclude a DNS server address and a web server address. I think that's clear. So let's try to demonstrate how do we exclude those uh, IP addresses. So we say excluded IP address 192.168.1.2 and 192.168.1.3 which is okay now we can also go back and then give our router ip address interface i think it's geek ethernet let me check and confirm yes it's geek, it's geek ethernet geek ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 then ip address 192.168 dot one dot one twenty four so for for us to 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 implement uh, uh, this this pool this 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 address pool we have to use the word dhcp select global is a key word so to implement it you have to say dhcp dcp select global 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 therefore you have to we have implemented so let's come to our devices here and assign them IP addresses. So like I did mention, uh, a DNS server and web server, we have to give them IP address manually. Dot one, dot two, dot two, eight two, one nine two, one nine two, It will be it. DNS server. 8.8.8.8 then apply then you have to save is a dns server? okay it's fine so now let's come to our pc you have to just check the gap button here then apply then you have to go and check the dhcp button here then apply then you have to come to our web server here and give it address 192.168.1.3.3.3.192.168.1.1 which is the gateway then we have to specify our DNS server fine so let's check our 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 PC address. As you know that in Windows, when you want to check uh, the 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 IP address of a machine, you have to go to command line or a CMD and then type IP config. So same thing applies here. You have to say to command IP config. Then you can see that uh, the router has, uh, the DHCP server has signed, assigned assigned uh, our PC one this address. Then let's come to our PC2 command line IP config. Then you can see that uh, our machine has been assigned uh, this IP address. This IP address. So now done with uh, uh, IP pool. So let's come to our interface pool. Let's come to configuration of our uh, interface pool. So System view, system name, router one. Therefore, you have to enable a DHCP, DHCP, enable. Therefore, so interface, gig Ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0. Therefore, give it IP address. IP address is 192.168.2. Let me confirm. Let me confirm. 2.1 okay it's okay it's okay the 2.1 24 it's fine so now we have to uh, we have to uh, identify the interface by the keyword dhcp select interface we have to identify this interface by the keyword or by the command dhcp select select interface 
you can also display type the display this to check therefore you can see that this this interface has been identified as our uh, has been identified so now let's can also uh, as, uh, assign or configure our dns dns so dhcp server server dns list 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8 .8 it's okay so we also like to uh, include or to exclude uh, the address of a web server and a dns server so we have to say dhcp server exclude the address of the 192 the address of the web server and dns server 10 and 11 10 and 11 10 and 11 uh, which is 192168 dot two dot ten one nine two dot one six eight dot two dot eleven it's okay it's okay so now let, let let's 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 let let's let's let, 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 let's 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 save the let's save this and save and save and save and save then yes okay so now let's go and give our 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 machine ip addresses 192.168.2.10.192.168.2.1 in a server Eight, eight, that eight, that eight. Then we say save. Then save. Okay. Then come to and then select DHCP. Apply. Select the DHCP here. Then apply. Web server. One and two. One six eight two dot eleven one and two one six eight two dot one DNS server here eight dot eight dot eight dot eight and apply. So now we have to go and uh, our command line and check the IP address of this machine IP config. You can see now uh, our our DHCP server had assigned our 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 our, our, our PC this address. Let's check the address of this PC again. Command line IP config. You can see that this machine has been assigned this address here. So guys, that's all about uh, how do we configure uh, a DHCP. On IP pool and interface pool, so there are some verification commands that you can run. Like if you can here, you can come here and then just just system view, and you uh, can just want to see display our pool. Say display IP pool. You can see now here. We, this is a pool name. The name the name of our pool. The name of pool is the user. We also have uh, the IP statistic IP address statistics. So we have two addresses that has been used. The the uh, uh, two forty nine other that we idle idle. Mean and we also have uh, two IP address that has been disabled. So we can also and then run very 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 many many different uh, command like display. ACP, D, ACP, then make a question mark. Then you can see that you can display HP land. You can display DHCP server. Probably our next video is going to be how to configure a DHCP relay. Thank you very much, guys. Hope you like the video and have peace.